the three of us went into this dormitory as part of the interns of the University of Melbourne. The, all the kids were there. And uh, this is the first evening. We go into the mess, right? As Australia is famous for big, juicy steaks. We, we read about big, juicy steaks, but I've never seen one, right? So, so and not, not only that, you know, you know, you're a Hindu, you kind of, you know, it's sacred, Kavya is sacred, and so on. So the three of us, you know, were serving steaks that evening. Everybody was kind of going there for seconds and thirds. The three of us looked at it and think, my God, this looks ugly. <laughs> Big piece of <laughs> meat. So we, that, that evening, we, all we had was bread, butter, and jam <laughs> because we couldn't. It, it took me like three, four years in Australia to, to become full, full-fledged Australian. Oh. Just as an intern. Intern means you're just getting experience. Oh. And, um, and so after six months or a year, the question was, what do we do? I went to University of New South Wales to get a master's degree with Hall and Woodhead. Okay. That's where I got introduced to the computers. Yeah. It was in Sydney. Sydney. Okay. And uh, so the interesting thing was, until that point, I may have read about computers in the newspapers, but it never sank in. I did not have any idea about what a computer was yeah. till in 58. Yeah. And uh, by 59, I was kind of fully immersed in it. It was called English Electric Juice Mark II. It's a mercury delay line computer. Uh, it was called Deuce because it was a follow-on to ACE. ACE was the computer that Turing designed. And uh, and so uh, and so the, uh, this was a kind of a, the English Electric and a couple of other Ferranti made computers based on the British design, whereas in U.S. we went, used von Neumann computers. Yeah. Uh, they had memory and in, instruction set, but whereas in in von Neumann computing there were instruction and 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 you know, registers and so on. There in, uh, if you look at the architecture of ACE, it's kind of stack oriented. So you never, you put things and it becomes a stack and then you keep adding and then un unstacking them. It's more complicated to think about, but I didn't have to think about it because somebody had already done a high level language. Okay. And it was, kind of, it was a matrix, it was the only data structure. So first thing you did was you had a paper and you kind of wrote down take this matrix and do this operation with this matrix and, to, and put it in this result, right? That's the standard yeah. um, operator, two operators and an operand and a result. And you write, wrote it down and then you punched it into punch cards and then you put them into a card reader and then you read and do the thing. What would happen is if you are doing a complicated algorithm there was not enough memory in the computer, right? It's only 1,000 bytes of uh, mercury delay line. So you actually broke it up. You printed out intermediate results and then do a new, another program to take the intermediate results and produce another set of intermediate results. So, and so the, com the punch, card, punch cards were the memory. Mm -hmm. So f fortunately, in 59, not many people knew about computers. <laughs> there were a few, and uh, so, and you kind of signed up, saying, "I get an hour or a half hour block of time," and then you, that during that time you did your ca calculations, and then sign up for some another block of time. 